there guys, like PC guy here showing me the installation of the DAC Pro 4 uh, cooler from Be Quiet. It's an air cooler, I will not do the unboxing in this video because I already did it on a previous video, so uh, not going to do double content. And uh, head forward to the instruction guide for any questions, there's uh, uh, six or seven different languages included in the box, I'll stick to the English one. Uh, and yeah, uh, without further ado, let's start with the installation. Now all the cooler comes with a lot of accessories included both for Intel and AMD, it makes it quite simple to figure out which ones you need. Basically grab everything that is not in the bag called AMD. So the Intel bag is stuff that you will need, along with the fasteners for the fan itself to so the cooler once you're done, and the little extra thingies that are on the side of the bag, not in the AMD or the Intel one, you will also need those. For starters, you will want to assemble the back plate of the cooler. To do this, uh, let us fish it out of the bag. It is actually quite a tight fit in that bag. Uh, please come out. There we are. You want to grab the back plate as well as the screw baggie. It's difficult to aim for the webcam, I apologize. And you want to get the backplate mounting screws, which are four little fellas that look about like this. Once you have all four screws, you want to put those screws in the backplate, paying attention to where you should put it. For So for the socket that I have, which is the 1151, uh, you will need to make sure the screws go on the inner side of this little hole here, so the one closest to the center. Uh, just read the instruction manual, if you have a different socket and you need to know where to put your screws in. You will grab the back plate and the screw, put it into the desired position, and you will grab an o-ring, which is also found in the screw bag, and you will use it to fix the screw into position. As you can see, it is now not going anywhere. Do the same for the other four screws along the edge. Having uh, the backplate assembled, you want to position it behind your motherboard, and uh, it should fit nicely if you have put it into the right socket. As you can see, or maybe not see, there you go. It comes very nicely, and uh, here they are. The four screws that you just put there are coming through the bottom of the motherboard. I will try to arrange this in a way that you can actually see the rest of the video a bit more properly. Now you will need to install the mounting brackets which will be both hold the black plate in place as well as mounting the actual cooler on your computer and for that you will need uh, obviously the nuts that you can see here as well as the small screws that are also included in the Intel package. Uh, it is uh, not the most difficult procedure, just on the screws that are popping out through your motherboard, you, the part that is not, uh, I am not sure if I can show you guys, there is this part that actually has a few grooves on the top, sorry for the lack of focus, and then there is the smooth part that has no such grooves. You want the parts with the grooves to be facing up away from the motherboard, and you want to basically just uh, roll them in there with your finger like this. Do it until they are tight, but not over tightening it either, just make sure they are tight. And when you are done with uh, two that are on the same side, we can proceed for the next uh, step of this installation. So once that is done, you will grab this bag, which was also in the Intel bag, which contains the two uh, mounting brackets. Also you have to pay attention to which of the two screw holes you want to use, depending on your model. Again, consult the manual, and you want to place it with the pointy bit, let's call it, facing inwards. So that way the screw holes will actually align to what you need them to align. 
in my case uh, I have already seen that I need to use the inner screw holes so anyway they should align with the back plate that uh, you have in any case because uh, well otherwise the back plate would not be popping through the motherboard again tighten it and make sure that it is tight but not overly tight you probably would wa will want to get the two screws in there before starting to tighten otherwise the plate will start rotating instead of uh, actually getting completely tight so get them both in there get them nice and tight a good rule of thumb is if you cannot rotate it just with the motion of the wrist then uh, it's already tight enough so that is the case now repeat for the other side well, we're approaching the end of this installation so you will want to grab the big bulky cooler that is actually all well, heat sink whatever you want to call it and you want to peel the protective plastic off the bottom so you can actually apply it to the cpu now don't go getting it dirty so uh, after you peel the plastic don't lie it uh, like on the don't make it lie on the table or anything of the sort and uh, after you have done that you want to grab some thermal paste to put it now the cooler does come with thermal paste included as you can see it's enough for one or two installations they say uh, i will not be using it uh, i will be using the one that i use on my own pc which is this one and no this is not sponsored it's just a very good thermal paste that i recommend now there are many ways to apply thermal paste uh, people swear by one or another but the the, the well the results are largely uh, <laughs> the same as long as you don't use too little or too much you will be fine and if you have to choose between one you're better off using too much than too little now the important part is to uh, cover the middle of the chip of the die uh, although it will spread under the pressure so usually the recommend is like a pea size drop in the middle uh, should be sufficient for cooling purposes but if you're scared it's not enough put a bit more just try not to splash it around on the, the all over the chip and the socket and whatnot now I am doing quite a bit of pressure but it's not wanting to, oh there it comes Now that's probably a little bit much, but like I said, I'd rather put a bit much than uh, not enough. So uh, yeah, there's that. Now uh, remember to don't try not to get this on your fingers because it's a pain to clean. So I will clean the tip and close it back up. If once this is done, you will want to grab your cooler as well as the mounting block and uh, well get it ready for installation. Now this is the mounting block, this is what will hold the cooler in place and it will go like this over the cooler as you can imagine. What I advise you to do is to already pre-install the mounting bracket on the cooler to make it easier to actually find where you are supposed to uh, put the screws. And from there just kind of shuffle it until it is actually in position central in the middle of the block it is difficult to tell what it is but just make sure it is somewhat central on the block it's uh, i realize the image is very shadowy because of the light but uh, hopefully this gives you a better picture Anyway, when this is done, just screw the two screws on the side uh, and uh, fix it to the mounting bracket. And uh, yeah, when you do this, you will be done with your installation uh, and all it will be left is fixing the fan there. After the fan is fastened to the side clamps and connected to the motherboard CPU 4-pin uh, header, you are ready to start enjoying your cooler uh, as a small addendum uh, do not be like me and do not ignore ham clearance when ordering an orthodontic cooler 
because you couldn't be in for a nasty surprise. Thankfully, in my case, it was just just enough uh, to actually uh, for the blade to spin without slamming the hem and for it to actually fit. But uh, it was uh, yeah almost an issue. So. Uh, don't be me. Uh, this has been the TechBC guy. I hope this has been useful for you guys. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment for future content, and I will see you next time.